Hi and welcome to the Bonsai Garden. We're having something of a heat wave in the UK at the moment and several of my trees are responding by putting out lots of new growth and so consequently I need to take a look at them. This is my Acer Palmatum Mountain Maple and you can see that it's put on perhaps about six inches of growth and so I need to trim that back. Here is my large larch tree that I trimmed about two weeks ago and you can see it's put on quite some growth. Here's the small Chinese elm that I also pruned perhaps about two weeks ago and again you can see uh, that the shoots have extended and it's in need of trimming again. This is another tree that's put on quite a bit of growth. This is my cork bark elm, and you can see it's grown out in all directions and that just needs a little bit of a trim. Here are a couple of my elm trees sat on the monkey poles. Uh, this is my cork bark elm planted over rock and that has got quite long shoots on it and we'll need trimming just back to profile and just next to it my large chinese elm which has got very long extended shoots on it and now needs some attention As you can see, this is the largest of my Chinese elms. And it was bought for me as a birthday present by my brother for my 50th birthday last year. Now, clearly you can see that in the last month or so, it's put on some quite considerable growth and some of these uh, shoots have extended out quite, quite a way. Um, okay, if I just try and explain what it is that I'm trying to achieve. If we look at this new growth, at the very end is the growing tip and what's happening is that is creating a hormone called auxin and basically that's telling this shoot to continue growing out as far as it can uh, to try and reach the, the light really and what's happening is the auxin which is in the end is telling these buds and shoots further back not to extend it's inhibiting their growth so what happens is if we take off the growing tip that stops the auxin from restricting the growth further back and these shoots which are at the tip of each leaf will then start to extend out and become new branches and what happens is over a period of time if we keep repeating that process we get something called ramification, which is that the, the tree becomes more twiggy or more branchy. And so that's what I'm going to try and achieve here. Um, as well as trimming the tree back to profile, I'm also trying to encourage some of these um, latent buds at the base of the leaves to start growing. If we just zoom in on the, the growth, um, I'm using a technique which is cut and grow. So if you look at the base of each of these leaves, where there is a, a latent bud. So there is one growing out on this side, there is one growing out on that side, and so on all the way down the branch. Now, if I cut the branch at that point, what I would expect is the bud there is going to start growing out in this direction so what that effectively means is the 
branch direction or the new growth will come out in this direction. And so in that way I can control which way the branches are going to grow within the tree. Really going to continue the process of going around the tree and selecting which direction I would like for the branches to grow and trimming appropriately. I do also have the odd branch like these ones here which are growing back in towards the centre of the tree so I'm going to remove those. This one's growing straight up so I'm going to remove that one and I'm just really going to continue around the tree in this manner. So I've now removed the excess growth from the tree and I've removed all of this. And I think I will probably just leave this tree now to develop for the rest of the year. This little beauty is my cork bark elm root over rock. I treated myself on my birthday this year and bought this one from All Things Bonsai. Again, it's a Chinese elm, and you can see that it's been quite vigorous and it's put out lots of new shoots, and it really now needs trimming back to profile. Also, because it's quite a dense growing tree, it has shaded out some of the branches lower down. And so I need to thin this out.
because this is quite a thick and dense canopy, what's happening is uh, the light is not getting through to some of the inner branches. And so I've got some branches which are dying off internally. So what I'm trying to do is just thin it out a little bit and perhaps create some layers. So anything that's growing up like this branch here, for example, I'm just trimming out just to try and thin things out to try and get more light into the inner parts of the tree. Okay, so I've now thinned this out quite a bit. I've now thinned the tree out a bit and it's ready to go back on my bonsai benches for a while. Here's my other Chinese elm, cork bark elm. And again, it's got long shoots on it which just need trimming. So all I'm doing here is going around the tree and trimming it to profile.
Okay, so I've been around the tree and I've just lightened it up a little and trimmed it back to that sort of dome shape. And that's ready to go back onto the benches. So the final tree that I'm going to work on today is this regular Chinese elm, which I bought from the local supermarket for £10. I did some trimming on this tree perhaps a month or so ago, and already the shoots have extended and therefore need trimming back again. Okay, I think that may suffice for now. So in contrast to these other trees which are being growing quite vigorously, I just wanted to quickly show you this one, which is another supermarket, 10 pounds Chinese elm from the local Asda supermarket. Now I've had this one for probably about two years now, and it's been a very, very slow grower. Uh, certainly in comparison to the others, it hasn't got lots of long extending shoots. So I'll just keep an eye on this one. So I hope you found that interesting. If so, please give me a like or a share or comment below.